Among Us. Hey there, everyone. My name is Kid, and welcome to Up Hold. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hey, stop it, stop it, stop everything. We are not, th we are not uh, doing the thing. We are not doing the thing. Um, hey there. Yes, yes. There we go. Now we are doing the thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Off to a good start. Hey there, everyone. My name is Kid, and welcome to Toho. What is this, 8? Yeah, Toho 8. <laughs> God dang, this was hard. This one's one of the hard ones. And yeah, check it out. By default, I'm playing this on on uh, hard mode. All right, we got Team Raymu over here, which consists with, which consists of Raymu and uh, Yukari over here. Why? I don't know. Lore reasons. Team Marissa, which has her and who is this? Alice, 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 Margatroid. What a weird name, Margatroid. Your weird name. Get on with it. Well, there's the little, there's the stats, in case you're wondering what they are. All right, Team Yomo, which consists of Yomo and uh, Remelia. Yeah, Remelia's playable in this. She looks really cool here because of her wings, but still, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, uh, I, no, Remelia does have kind of a cool ability, but not yet. All right, team. Uh, no, this is Yomo. The other one was Sakuya. What am I talking about? This is Yomo, and along with uh, y uh y Yuyuko. <laughs> Actually, th these two are my favorites, but for the wrong reasons. Jeez, <laughs> uh, I like Yuyuko in this. She's oddly like really powerful. She's way too powerful, huh? Are you sure? Why'd you mess up? What did you do? Ah, it, it would appear that uh, he forgot to uh, d d do the thing with the slow-mo and whatnot. Ah, yes, I see. What an idiot to start this way. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so uh, what happened? Oh, crap. What happened? What happened? Oh, I think I just didn't re start recording or something. I was just checking or something. But anyways, yeah. All right, so um, first things first. Uh, I didn't really notice this until some someone pointed it out, and I and I uh, like saw all the memes and stuff, right? But in the in the in the uh, the character select screen with uh, Reimu and Yukari, right? Um, it kind of looks like Yuk Yukari is um, in uh, Yukari Yukari is in a uh, is in a wheelchair, and Reimu is just pushing her. <laughs> I never noticed it until I actually saw it myself. And now I just can't unsee it. <laughs> and there's like all these memes about like Raymu and her in a wheelchair. It's really funny. I love it. I even saw this little animation it, um, of like uh, Yukari saying, Oi, Raymu, something's missing from the moon or something. And then, uh, and then uh, Raymu's like, Oi, I got this. And then <laughs> freaking Yukari over here is like in a wheelchair giving her like a really funny face. <laughs> I love that face she gives her. It's funny. I love it. It's so... It's ridiculous. I like Toho. <laughs> and the, the, the fandom too. Man, I've been seeing a lot of weird things from the Toho fandom. <laughs> I saw a uh, because I'm playing uh, uh what is it? Genso Wanderer, right? I've actually I I saw this picture of uh, freaking Futo, that's just like her head and her, and like her legs. <laughs> and it's just like a little walk cycle, <laughs> and it's really dumb. I love it. But anyways, look, there's nothing here. There's nothing out here. The night's still only just begun. No need to hurry. You've got no room to say no need to hurry when you're the one who, who dragged me out in a hurry, yeah? You owe me big for this, so don't you forget it. You've been saying nothing here for a while now. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you back. It's not like I'm you. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You've got some guts not being bugged by me. I hope you've got some determination to match that. Was that a pun? Was it? 
That reminds me, I forgot something important for an evening stroll back back at the shrine. Question mark? I know that you're tr I know what you're trying to say, a mosquito coil, right? She's sticking her tongue out. I'm a firefly. <laughs> I'm a I'm a firefly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it still works the same, right? Maybe, I don't know. Ah, idiot. Already losing to Wriggle Nightbug? What's wrong with you? <laughs> to be fair, this is my... I want to say second round because... Uh, uh, I always do like this thing where I like try out the next game before we actually play it. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Wriggle Nightbug. One of my favorites just because like she's a bug. <laughs> she's a little tiny actual fairy. Because all bugs are fairies. That makes sense. Freaking friggin Wriggle Nightbug, she's like... Uh... Not necessarily a menace, but she can, like, skip... She can skip moves in Gensel Wonder and it's, and it's scary. Because you think she's gonna move once? Nah, she's gonna move three times. But yeah, look, uh, you may have noticed, but I actually... But, uh... And I already mentioned it, but uh, I started playing these games on the hard mode, like by default. Oh dang, that was easy. Really? It's awful. It's awful at night with all these bugs. Says the one who's only awake at night. Yes, yeah, because nature thrives during the night. Here's her tongue again. They've been lots of fireflies lately. Kind of makes me worry a little about the outside world. You understand, don't you? It's not like you worry though. So in the lo in the world of Toho, um. If we, if uh, if we die, like here in the real world, does that mean we turn into a Toho character? Nah, I don't know. That's, that does sound kind of weird. Kind of funny at the same time. Yeah. You just, uh, it, when you die, you turn into a girl. <laughs> a girl that flies in the sky with magical bullets. <laughs> oh, jeez. I wonder what Reimu was in, in, the pa in her past life. She was a, a businessman who completely had it with life. He was like, oh, I'm done with all this paperwork. I wish I was a shrine maiden that flies through the sky and shoots bullets at people. And then gets hit with a meteor and dies and gets reincarnated as Reimu. Can you imagine if that was like the, if that was like the origin? It's Toho. Anything can happen. Or anything can be real. <laughs> Freaking Yuyuko actually eats one of the characters in here. <laughs> so yeah, anything can happen. And besides, nobody actually dies in this game. It's kind of like that weird uh, Adult Swim wrestling cartoon where everyone dies except not really. Like, they can get torn apart, they can get ripped open, they can get like, uh... They can just straight up blow up and in the next scene they're just like all hunky-dory. No scratches or anything. <laughs> Is dumb, but I kind of like that uh, uh, idea. Raymu's he Raymu's head gets like gets like cut off, and you can even see it roll around in the ground. But in the next thing, she's like, "Ah, that hurt!" <laughs> With her head still attached. That's weird. The world of Toho is weird. I need to read like the actual manga of this. What? Wait. What? I thought you you were some foolish some foolish tasty humans. Who exactly are you two? Um, non-humans. Non-humans? Well, human or not, I'm fine either way. That's my that's rare. Seeing non-humans go along this road. Hmm, you seem to be a right sparrow. Night sparrow. You shouldn't attack just humans so often. There won't be any more left. That might be so. How about attacking yokai instead of humans? Oh, never mind. Besides, human forms haven't been seen at night. If there's anyone here at all, it'd be a non-humans who were in a big hurry. Or I had some important reason. Listen, I'll say this once more. We are non-humans in a hurry with an important reason. We don't have time to waste here. But, okay. In the end of this road, is in the place where yokai like <laughs> it's a freaking heck man although you're i'm sorry i'm at a really weird angle here i know how about you go over to the village and mess with the humans together oh jeez i've said this before haven't i 
Question mark? Question mark? I can't see in the dark. Uh, he ah, human sighted. I'll make you a night blind. She's already night blind. Even though she says she's not night blind. <laughs> in the, in the Toho 7. Right? Right. Also, I like how this is a, uh, Toho 8 uses, uh, remix versions of, uh, already existing so so songs. Like, Rigo Nightbug was like, uh, what was it, stage one? Stage one. And I think this is, a. Uh, I want, I want to say, what's it called? Uh, Mei Ling's theme, like the first one. Maybe it might be. I don't know. I'm not inversed with Toho music just yet. Even though, like, the first stage of uh, Toho Seven is kind of like permanently stuck in my head. <laughs> Out of PTSD, of course. Every time I hear it, it's like, no, I have to play Toho again. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And you can tell if you if you could uh, watch my streams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in case you didn't know, I uh, started streaming this. Like, uh, I want to do it. I want to do it like every night, but we'll see. Because I don't have much time during the day. Maybe during the my days off, I'll stream a lot earlier. We'll see. Like right, like today. Today's my day off, so I might stream a little early. I don't know. Depends. Goodness, it was it was only a night sparrow. It's hopelessly too early for her to be acting like a king of bird bird lice. Was that really a sparrow just now? It was dark and I couldn't see well. If you see a small bird at night, it's usually a night sparrow. If you don't treat night with caution, you'll become unable to see in the dark in dark places. Is that is that really what night sparrows are like? Although I couldn't see it see it well. Ah, I can see the human village. I didn't really want to come here with you though. Yeah. Are night sparrows a real thing? This is this is like the first time I'm hearing of them. I know sparrows are like a real thing, but still. <laughs> also, yeah, um, y Yuyuko just straight up eats her, the night sparrow Mikasa, I think. I don't know. Me, no, uh, me, me something. It starts with an M. That much I know, and there's an A in there. But anyways, yeah, uh, Yiko just straight up eats her. Like in the in her wind dialogue, she says, uh, uh, help, uh, uh, like I don't know the exact thing, but she says, but she mentions mentions that she, one of her bones is like caught in her teeth or something like that. It's brutal. She just straight up eats eats her. I mean, it's Yuko, but still. Hey, it's not like it's familiar. I think you got that backwards. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, th th this game actually has like a weird continue system. Instead of having like, uh, you know, actual lives, this has time. You technically have infinitum uh, continues. But once the clock hits like, what, 5 o'clock? That's when the game is over and you, 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 you just get an ending no matter what. Yeah, whenever the clock hits five, that that's that's an ending. It's not like a game over or anything. Is it you? Are you the one trying to attack the village in the middle of this night? This horrible scene is your doing. Is it is your doing, isn't it? Where did you send the humans in the village? I won't hand the humans over to you, Yokai. I'll make this night never happen. Kind of, what exactly? I I know I asked this a lot, but what what is the lore of Toho, where the beasts actually uh, protect humans? Ah, what the heck are you? Hey, put the village back. Yeah. But you, yeah, uh, she uh ah, Kaine. Kaine isn't a yokai. She's a she's a half beast, right? Along with all the other beasts, like the like the sp the night sparrow that we just saw, that we just fought, and then there's a uh, Kagero, <laughs> one of my favorites, just because she's like a little a wolf girl wolf girl in a dress. It looks really funny. So persistent. You don't matter right now. Yeesh. The human village was supposed to be here, right? 
But there's nothing here now. What happened to the humans and their houses and everything? Nothing. I just made it so that the village was invisible to your kind. Reimu, we don't have time to stick around here. The moon's gradually sinking lower as we speak. Moons. We're not exactly sticking, but hold on. It's not like I can just ignore a yokai that erased a whole village of humans. Humans never settled here in the first place. All I did was make it look that way. I protect the humans from this ill omen the night. Hey, hey. I can see the humans just like usual though. Trickery is this uh, of this level isn't up. Really? What are you two? Don't worry, they're invisible enough to me. Uh, your pity isn't helping. <laughs> and you? You're a half beast, right? I'm a human when the moon is, isn't full. Not unlike a human faced dog or a human faced rock, then. Why are you assuming everything but my face changes? I'll I'll have you know that the transformation is full body. Or is Ah jeez <coughs> That didn't go well. Oh well. If you're going to say that, I won't let you take it back. Yeah? Tonight I'll make an imperial feast out of your history. Myself aside, this one's history would amount to some light snacks at best. Shut up. Even then, that means every day is tea and snacks for me. That does sound nice. Having some PG tea with the... Uh, with the... Uh, hmm... What kind of snack would, would go well? I've had rice crackers before, but I wouldn't say that I, that I would eat them all the time. I'm not really a snack kind of person, so I don't really have anything. I used to eat carrots as a snack, but then, you know, they they uh, got more expensive. <laughs> it sucks, but what can you do? Yeah, dang. Uh, kind of isn't playing around. Well, like I said, 8 is like way more harder than the rest. Even on normal mode. <laughs> God dang it. You'll find out so you'll find out soon why. <laughs> For one reason or another. Also, kind of says it's full body, but I mean, technically that's true. I mean, all she really does is change color and get some horns. That's really it. Full body, my butt. It's not like she turns into Kagero. Or does she? Nah, I'm kidding. It would be cool to see Kaine in, in a more beastly form rather than just having horns. Can you imagine? Now restore the human village. It'll be okay to put it back. We weren't thinking anything of you and the humans here to begin with. Then where are you trying to go? That way. This way. If you're after the ones behind the recent unusual moon, then... See, I was right, wasn't I? Rainbow, your finger is off from her by 70 degrees. You're off by 110. Wait, she figured out what we're trying to do? It'd be more strange if she hadn't figured it out. I mean... Beneath the soil that holds magic power. Oh, jeez, this place looks a little familiar. It reminds me of the place where I got turned into a Stalfos. Remember, remember when I got turned into a Stalfos? I remember. That was, uh... That was something. <laughs> That's a reference, you see, of my uh, Puppet Dance Performance playthrough. I miss Puppet Dance Performance. I really gotta pl play it again. A Nuzlocke. Although playing, uh, although doing a Nuzlocke of it is going to be painful, I just know it. And we did finish the game a long time ago, so you know, uh, we can start we can start new game plus with uh, with like uh, new characters and all that. You know, the expansion pass. Because <laughs> that's how it works, right? You're supposed to start a new game and then, or you're supposed to actually beat the game and then. Uh, 
uh, you can actually activate the, the pass. I don't know, it's really weird. It was weird setting up the base game. It was so weird. But fun nonetheless, I loved it. I love Puppet Dance performance. Move and I'll shoot. I messed up. I mean, shoot and I'll move right away. What? Are you in the... Why are you in a place like this, Marissa? Well, uh, I'm just hunting some troublesome yokai, as usual. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm doing some troublesome yokai hunting, too. What am I si what, what I'm saying is hunting troublesome yokai. In your case, it's troublesome yokai hunting, isn't it? Yeesh. Not really. Maya, I wonder what you can do all by yourself and on a night like this. Hunt troublesome yokai. I'm really tired of staring at t today's moon. It's about time to make it be tomorrow. So who's the troublesome yokai? You. You messed, you messed with the boundary of night and day again, right? We're the ones stopping the night, but now isn't the time for that. Indeed. Don't you have eyes on your back? Or don't you have eyes on the back of your head? Huh? Well, she probably doesn't... That's how it is. Speak Japanese. This is Gensokyo. Looks like nothing we say will get through her. But the distorted moon is so dangerous. It's not really harmful to humans. Ah, I don't know what's happening, but I never end a never-ending night has harmful written all over it. Yokai eat humans during the night. If the night keeps going, the yokai will stuff themselves until they drop dead. There's no way they do that. Kinda exterminate them before they drop dead. I like how Marissa just kinda has like a little tooth in, in this one. Yeah, when she has like that little confused look on her face. She has like a little tooth and it's funny. Little, little bunny tooth. Also Marissa, if you play, uh, certain characters will like, will actually, uh, uh, shift. So if you play Marissa, you'll actually play, you'll actually fight Reimu. And I think it's weapon based too. Someone mentioned that, uh, 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 remember back in Toho 7 when I said that Patchouli has like random attacks? Apparently some of them are uh, are determined by like the weapon you're using too. Both character and weapon based. How about that? Here I thought it was just pure random, but I guess not. Nah, I thought, I thought... I thought I could squeeze right by it, but I couldn't. Ooh! Did you see that? Marissa's foot is like broken. <laughs> it's just broken. Ah, uh, idiot. What was your plan there? I don't know. Ooh, 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 dead. Or at least it would have been. Really using up. Ah, running away. Now let's chase her to the end of the earth. Freaking Marissa running away from Reimu. She doesn't... She knows exactly what she's getting herself into. Because, like, Reimu. But technically speaking, both Reimu and uh, Marissa are both equal in power, right? I actually don't know. I think uh, even... Uh, Reimu even went through like some kind of weird training at what, at some point. With uh, Kasen, I think. Where the experience was traumatic, apparently. <laughs> Even though she, like, uh, went back to her lazy ways at, in the end. At least from what I know. Or from what I've been told. She went through training only for only to lose it. Isn't that kind of, like... Not necessarily sad, but kind of depressing. How, like, um, you can spend your life doing something, but... Oh, if it isn't Reimu, what's up? We've been over this! There's a limit even to bare-faced lies. The last one was for Yukari. This one's for you. Ah, uh, she means business now. <laughs> Did you see her broken foot? But yeah, you could spend your life, like, hard, doing hard training. But if you mess up once and... If you mess up once, then it's all gone. All of that, all of that, it's just gone. 
it's kind of it's kind of one of the reasons why I started wearing gloves at work because like pushing carts and like um, like hastily uh, bagging groceries is kind of messing up my hands especially my wrists and I keep like uh, making them bleed on on uh, I keep making my hands bleed on accident because I, I, I always like either crash them into carts or uh, uh, smash them in, into cans. Why do I? Why do I? Why am I always going so fast? Because I'm an overachiever. That and because like nobody ever helps out for some reason. Checkers are supposed to help baggers too, and they just won't for some reason. And and I'm just like left bagging groceries, and, and the customers just like looking at me like, "Oh my god, would you would you just hurry up?" <laughs> right. Yeah, that's my life. That's always been my life. Just, uh, just been doing nothing but groceries. Unless, of course, you, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And then, and, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe I can do this full time. Yeah, maybe, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> I'm sorry. But nah. Um, it would be nice, if, if I'm being honest. What, what I really want to do in life, though, is make my manga. Yeah, Cherry Snow and whatnot. I have a ton of uh, ideas for new manga too, but I can't get to them because I'm just too slow. Looks like we arrived at our destination while we were chasing Marissa. You were really lucky. I wish you could share that look with, with my Ron too. Damn it! what the heck are you two saying? Thanks to you, we know the culprit, who the culprit is. You weren't useless. Well, we haven't figured out the culprit, but at any rate, they're in that mansion. Well, I lost, so there ain't much I can do. Time to head home and sleep. I hope it'll be morning when I wake up. Sleep for all eternity. Well, try to catch- God dang! You freaking Yukari! <laughs> Isn't like the whole reason why uh, the moon is like changing is because uh, uh, Odonge and what's-her-face, Eren, I think? I think it was Eren too, and not just the- the other one but like Aaron uh, and the other ones were like you know what it's it's time to it's time to stop living in in uh, in our little realm and actually uh, interact with humans and all that or something like that because like medicine and all that I don't know something like that it, I, I remember hearing someone say something like that where where the Lunarians wanted to like uh, go to earth for like uh, relations with so that so that they can they can build a relation with humans and actually and actually like sell their medicine and stuff like that or something I don't know like I said I'm still learning <laughs> Ooh. panic panic bomb oh my god how the heck did I survive this game look at all all that's going on oh, spoiler alert I guess Need to drink some water. <gasps> there she is! It's the bunny! The the freaking uh, rabbit prankster that, that for some reason always like kills what's her face? A Duncan. Well she doesn't kill her, I'm just making fun. But at this point she might as well just be dead. I saw a little um, like anime of like Terry where she put like poison or something in uh, a donkey's like I think it was I don't know it was like some kind of food but she put poison in it straight up poison <laughs> and it just made her sick it's funny <laughs> and then freaking a donkey just like shoves the whole bottle down freaking uh, Terry's mouth <laughs> dude Terry's just dead after that drinking the whole bottle of potion forget about it <laughs> I love Terry, but she's a freaking menace. We sadly don't didn't see that in the puppet dance performance. She was just another NPC. We we didn't see her mischief mischievous uh God dang, how did I survive that? The hitboxes. 
But yeah, we don't get to see that, see her mischievous side in the puppet dance performance. You're too late. I've sealed all the doors. You can't take the princess away now, can you? Is she the culprit? Who knows? Should it, should we take her down? First of all, the culprit should be here somewhere. What? Are you yokai? You shouldn't have been able to find your way here. Though, nothing to worry about. Hey, I'm still human. Humans are even less worrisome. Why would you be worried? I wonder all this is your mischief. Mischief? Hmm, you mean sealing up the earth? Maybe. I don't quite get it. We mean the full moon. I don't quite get it either, though. Ah, you're talking about the moon. That's my master Aaron's most powerful spell. It makes this earth into a giant sealed chamber. Do you get it now? There's no way to get it. Or we get it. Also, about the full moon erasing spell, it's hardly most my p most powerful spell. Rainbow, she's the culprit. Is she? My intuition is sort of... Now, return this distorted moon to normal. It's still too early for that. There's no way I can undo the spell yet. Odonge, inflict the insanity all over our, all your job, correct? I'll leave this to you. Leave it to me. I won't let a single one of th those closed doors be opened. Running won't, won't stop us. We'll get her anyway, after taking you down. Looks like it. It also looks like... Like taking you down won't be back to, nor to full moon either. Hmm. I wouldn't have anyone to fight with lately, so this is th so this is just something. I'll show 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 you two everything in the moon's insanity. The moon's insanity? It's my hypnosis that drove the humans who come to the moon insane. Those humans were weak. This person, she seems dangerous. The moon drives people insane. So I wonder if you can remain in your bright mind while gazing into the eyes of the lunar rabbit. Insane, she says. She has no idea. <laughs> she has no idea what freaking Odonge is capable of. Odonge, Odonge, one of the two. Reesen, Raisin, Raisinette, Bunny. But not the bunny. The insanity eyes. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time uh, uh, going up against Odonge, so I had I had no idea what was going on. Even looking at this now, I still don't know. Oh, it looks like we got an ending. Ah, never mind. We're back at the game. <laughs> okay, well here you go. Here's all the uh, failed attempts. This time I was playing as Marissa, and look, there's Mermilia. See. We were play uh, we were fighting uh, what's her face, Remu. Unfortunately for us, we died too much. So when we completed the thing, the clock hit. Yeah, <laughs> Yuko. The clock hit five, and it was Jover. Okay, this one I didn't actually uh, like quit or anything. The game just straight up crashed. Y Yuko is just too powerful. Yeah, but we still didn't get it. Hey, you can uh, you can see all of my failed attempts if you uh, if you uh, watch my streams. <laughs> Yo, streaming is fun. I can actually interact with with you people. It's really fun. At least to me, it is. Feels like you know the most uh, the longest conversation I tend to have over here is with my cat, and that normally goes like meow, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Nah. Oh my god, what is this? This was like... This took like forever for me to like, um, get used to. Oh my god. But that's like nothing compared to what's what's coming next, watch. S stop spoiling everything! But I'm not spoiling, I'm only hyping up the crowd. There's a difference. <laughs> and you can tell that this was like streamed because of the background. Yeah, you didn't notice that uh, Reimu in the background uh, until now, did you? Also, god dang this! <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting anxiety just looking at it. God dang, look at look at all that. <laughs> Yeesh. What's taking so long? Press yes. Well, maybe I would have uh, figured out what's going on if I uh, watched the stream. <laughs> 
No, I'm kidding. Honestly, I think I was just freaking out over the the uh, the pattern that was going on. Also, I like how a donkey just kind of has like a like a finger gun. Ooh, god dang! You never see it because of the illusion. She's an illusion type, after all. I'm amazed that, uh, what's it called, freaking Odongi over here keeps getting, uh... Okay, now let's go chase the other one down. Yeah. But which door did the other one enter? There are so many, I can't tell. That, that, that other one. Hey, don't just, okay. The culprit is done this way. We have to go capture her before she commits. Oh, okay, she wouldn't commit. Oh, okay, and don't call her a shush rabbit. Keep it up, or we'll tear off your skin. <laughs> Freaking Rainbow is a savage, I swear. Yeesh, what is this whole Seuss thing that uh, uh, Aaron does all of a sudden? Aaron, I'm pretty sure her name is Aaron. Maybe she has like that weird like ability. She has like that weeb ability where if she kills herself, she uh, she uh, summons a demon or to attack her enemies, just like Persona. Cause like uh, what's his face? Like like uh, what's his face? What's his name again? Danny DeVito, just like Danny DeVito says. No. Suicide is badass. <laughs> this is dumb. Also, I thought this was going to have a a uh, interruption boss fight, just like uh, with the uh, what's her face. Ha ha ha! Good, you're all, you're following me. This corridor is strange. I can't possibly be set, be this long. The outside turned into into some world I've never seen. But yeah, I thought this was gonna be like Sakuya and uh, Yoma, where they like interrupt the final boss in a disparate attack. But not this one. Yo, Erin is scary in like all the games that I play as because she she has like. <laughs> oh, what is this? The absolute ring of death. Literally, you can't do anything. Oh, cutscene. Maybe. Imperishable night. It looks like the long corridor has ended now. Aha, my aren't you too stupid? Hey, she just said we, we were stupid. Is it because I let a, sh a shrine maiden do her things? The morning will come soon. After that, I'll return the full moon to you. Yeah, Aaron. My aren't you a good listener? My spell is already complete. It's impossible for anyone to make the princess from here. Me. A princess? We had no interest in the princess to begin with. We only want to return the full moon. Don't worry. The morning comes. I'll give it right back. That's not good enough. We came here to get the moon back before you're so impatient. But look at the place we're in right now. Do you know where this is? Question mark? This place is between the false moon and the, and the earth. The endless corridor just now was a false passage that co connects the two. The two were fooled by an illusion that, fa that the false food full moon produced and came here. And? So what about it? Do you have any method of returning home? I see. Let's check. Let's take care of that after... We're in no hurry. How can someone who was so perfectly deceived by my spell think that they can oppose me? It's quite strange. Well, I'm no demon myself. Until morning, I'll play with you. I don't quite get it. If we defeat her, it'll solve everything? See? That's why she called you stupid. But you're exactly right. Everything Rimu Hakuru says is entirely correct. Right now, all Earthlings will wander forever without ever reaching the moon. And the Lunarians are just the same. With this, none of the Lunarians should be able to reach the Earth. This, one of the, this is one of the greatest spells. The Earth has become a gigantic sealed chamber. She's just like that rabbit from before. There's so, ma so many lunatics here. So, Yukari, let's, he let's beat her up. 
and head back to the head back to Earth. Oh, it looks like you want to play. I'm afraid I like the power to play forever, but even so, I can play until morning. I wouldn't mind playing forever, but some other time. Now the Dono Gensuki was at hand. Oh boy. He's like fireworks this one. Ooh. <laughs> uh, geez, all of these tiny little uh, spaces. How did I manage? With the power of Bayonetta. My god, looking at this now, like, uh, the bullets move at, like, normal speed, but whenever I'm playing, the bullets move in slow motion. Just like I said, I got my Bayonetta powers back. Oh yeah, this is something I really like of her. She, like, changes the background. It's really cool. Get <laughs> All these traps. It's not fair. I bet in Toho 10 we can we, we can actually play as Eren. Can you imagine? I remember really starting to panic here because I thought the the, the, the blue bullets were gonna move. Now's not the now's not the time to start dying. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Spell bonus failed. I still don't know what exactly that means. Am I supposed to kill her during her, like, super moves or something? I don't really know. I'm still somewhat new. Somewhat. I'm learning all the lore. I'm, uh, I, I want to read the manga. Right now, I'm reading through, like, Terry's story. With, uh, it's not really a story. It's more of a four coma with, like, her and, uh, Reese and doing stuff. It's cute. Jeez. Oh, I really hate how this thing moves with all these traps lying around. It reminds me of like the what's her face from uh, Cuphead. Among us. It reminds me of uh, the, the the blimp girl from from uh, Cuphead. She kind of has something like that too. Oh god, can you imagine if Cuphead was like this? That would suck! <laughs> the funny thing about Cuphead is how like, uh... Just like, just like, um... Just like in Toho, your hitboxes get smaller if you dodge. Or if you focus. Yeesh! I like how the bullets in this game just look like actual weapons. Like when she did like that little starfish thing, it, it kind of looked like she was like swinging like what, like six whips? I don't know, it, it just looks really nice to me. And this is just pure chaos. Yeesh. How the heck did I survive any of this? Especially with the Donge. Well, Donge is not too bad if you know exactly what to do. At least. And Ron's doing her best by spinning. Oh man, I didn't even mention. Didn't it, it took me this long to mention her? But yeah, freaking Yukari over here. Just kind of has Ron as a summonable. What are you doing? Eren, I grant you one more chance with my power. If you lose this time, you there, human and yokai, with the medicine made by my power and Eren's true strength, you'll never forget this as long as you live. But yeah, if when you switch to Yukari, she she just kind of has like Ron by uh, just attacking them, just attacking enemies, and all she does is spin. It's really funny. Because all she does is spin. Oh my god, there's so many! Yo, oh! Good thing we have run by. Uh, I thought. I really thought I could just, like, squeeze through that. 
Finery, we did it! <laughs> oh man, I remember like cheering like really loud for this because god dang, I wasn't kidding when I said that the that the this one was hard. This one was way harder than the other ones. If I'm being like honest, I um I'll, um when I when I was first starting Toho, people told me that I should start with set set six. I should start with six because that, that's like the most uh, uh that's when it like you know started being an actual bullet hell, and not to mention that the it's uh, beginner friendly. But I actually think number seven is good. It has just the right amount of uh, difficulty and uh, the visuals are just really nice. Not to mention you you, you also have a uh, Sukuya as an unlockable character in that one. I don't know, I still think that Toho 6 is still a start, a good starter, but uh, Toho 7 just like... It's just good, okay? Both visually and uh, gameplay-wise, especially with the uh, Yuiko's boss battle. God dang, I love Yuiko's boss battle. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Also Chen in the background. I didn't even notice her until now. Is that Chen? I'm pretty sure that's Chen. Yeah, everyone's just hanging out. Raymond, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. Just hanging around. With my friends, eating some snacks. And Ron, Ron right there, just like in the background for some reason. She looks so different here. I'm so used to her having like that little, uh, like that little sleep cap. Or at least it looks like a little sleep cap because, you know, her ears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. I like Ron. She she looks funny. At least her modern design does. Or new design. Whatever you want to call it. But anyways, yeah. There you go. That's Toho 8. One of the hardest ones that I've done so far. And my god. I was sweating through the whole thing. And I loved it. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see more uh, Toho, check out my live streams where I do it like, uh, what? Every other day? For now. Because right now I'm going through a uh, Neo 2. Yeah, that way I can make a video on it. There you go. Toho 8. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.